Hello and welcome back to Cows Week. It's Thursday, that means it's day six and it's another very different day. It's ending off with some rain and uh, the forecast is for the breeze to build quite a lot tonight. But it's been a successful day of racing, but a tricky one. For a start, the breeze, the breeze was from the south, which made for a reaching start or a slightly upwind start with the tide all the way down the green. That made it quite tricky to stay behind the line for some people on the way uh, on their start. There was a few OCSs, but generally people got away. Most of the IRC fleet in the black group classes all headed off down to the western Solent, went right down to the end. The big boats went right the way down to Sconce and then uh, did some windward lures there and then worked their way back up the Solent. And then the smaller classes just went a little bit less far down to the west side of the Solent. As we watched the fleet head back towards the finishing line, one of the first boats, in fact the first boat to cross the line, was Richard Matthews Oyster Catcher 35. They've been having a bit of a struggle this week. It's a new boat, they're still trying to settle it in. But the stronger breeze that at times was up to just over 20 knots seemed to suit this boat and her crew. And she came smoking up the western Solent, three jibs set and clearly in front of everything else in class zero, including Gladiator, the TP52. True to say, she needs to be ahead of the TP52 because she rates higher. But nonetheless, that'll be a big relief for Richard Matthews and his crew, that once the breeze gets up, they can put their foot down. Dealing with the tide today that was sluicing out to the west was really sort of the big issue. And it seemed to stretch out all the classes. You could particularly see that in the Cape 31s. They got stretched out quite a lot. But the boat that was at the front of the fleet, despite having a dreadful start, was actually Squirt, sailed by Russell Peters, who led the fleet home by quite some margin. It was similar in the quarter ton fleet, where BLT, although they did get a good start, but they stretched their lead over the rest of the fleet to quite a considerable margin as well. Meanwhile, the white group classes all had a committee boat start today. They ended up out in the eastern Solent at the other extreme of the racing area. So once again, for the race committee, it's been a challenge not only to deal with 500 plus boats here, but fitting it all in around the weather. Weather that's due to increase gradually this afternoon and into tomorrow. Friday is now looking like the day that's going to be pretty windy and pretty wet. But until then, racing has gone to plan. Everybody's got a race in and got back. That'll be good news. So another busy day here in the Solent, albeit one that's finished a little earlier than usual. But after the two previous long days afloat, I don't think there'll be anybody complaining about that. Anyway, stand by and we'll see you tomorrow.